Today, I'm here to talk to you about Truphone Entitlements. Truphone Entitlements is a strategic capability which allows operators to enable new products such as Apple Watch or new features such as Voice over Wi-Fi on their subscribers' devices. The solution reduces implementation friction and cost by providing an out-of-the-box service hosted entirely on the cloud. I'm joined today by Scott McKenzie, Head of Device and Connectivity Services at Truphone, who's going to answer some questions and give more information about this neat piece of software available to operators. Hi Scott, thanks so much for joining me. It's really nice to be able to have a quick chat about entitlements and let other people know what's happening at Truphone. Great to be here, thanks for making the time. No worries at all. Can you give us a quick overview? What is entitlement? Yeah, no worries. So entitlement serve is basically a collection of different technologies based on different specifications from Apple, from Samsung, and from the GSMA. And it allows operators to seamlessly and securely enable a product or a service on an end user's device. So that might be voice over Wi-Fi, voice over LTE, or even setting up an Apple Watch, for example. And how does it work? So traditionally, uh, an operator would um, buy an entitlement server platform from a vendor and install that on their core network. And this is obviously a big project, it requires geo-redundancy, uh, very costly to implement and build. Uh, but what Truefund's done is built a cloud-native solution so that the operator can just focus on integration. And um, once they're up and running, the end customer's device will connect to this platform and it will say, tell me what uh, entitlements I'm allowed to use and the platform will respond and say, you're allowed to use voice over Wi-Fi or voice over LTE, and that gets enabled on the end user's device. And is that a requirement for operators to have an entitlement server? In order for operators to offer wearables, so the likes of Apple Watch or the Samsung Watch, then entitlement server is a mandatory requirement from those device manufacturers. For the other features of entitlement server, no, it's not mandatory, but it does add a lot of value to an operator because they can um, improve the customer experience by enabling and disabling services, kind of in a real-time basis. You mentioned wearables, so why are operators buying this today? So, so the real reason operators are implementing an entitlement service today is for the wearables revenue stream. So for an operator to offer Apple Watch or Samsung Watch, having an entitlement server is a mandatory requirement from those device manufacturers. That's the primary reason that we see operators asking Truphone for um, for, for entitlement server. Some other operators are interested to stay in sync with the latest features coming from Apple and Samsung. So every year these guys release new entitlements which enable services on the end user's device and um, for operators that have an entitlement server they can then offer that to their customers straight away. Um, and I'd say the third area that's, that's quite interesting for, for operators with an entitlement server is generally improving customer satisfaction. So Entitlement Server allows the operator to turn on and turn off services on the end user's device automatically. So from the perspective of the end user, with the operator, things just work. Right, so are there any other effects for the end user? Do they even know that this is happening? No, not at all. So Entitlement is completely transparent for the end user. All the end user knows is that they turn their phone on, they connect it to the network, and all these services were just enabled automatically. Is there anything like what Truephone is offering with entitlements already on the market? What's the difference? Yeah, there's different vendors out there that offer entitlement server platforms, but traditionally these vendors have gone for uh, the on-site type solution, so uh, where the operator is hosting this platform within their core network. And that's really expensive for operators and, and time consuming as well, especially when you consider things like geo-redundancy. What Truephone's done is implement a cloud native solution, which allows us to host this platform in the cloud and integrate directly with each operator. And there's a real benefit for operators. Firstly, they don't need to worry about infrastructure. Secondly, the platform stays up to date. So whenever Apple or Samsung release a new specification, we can turn that on and make it available for the operators straight away. So there's no you know, annual professional services fees or upgrade requirements. When there's new things available, they're available to the operator straight away. So all of this means that there's a huge cost benefit for the operators. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and not just a cost benefit, but also a time to market benefit. 
So if the operator is focusing only on integration and not all the infrastructure aspects, they can then focus on actually taking this product, the, the Apple Watch or the Samsung Watch to market. Uh, so cheaper to run, cheaper to maintain, stays up to date with the latest features. And um, working with Truephone, uh, the operator also benefits from you know years of experience. We've been running this platform since 2016. So we've got a lot of experience enabling and uh, activating these different use cases all over the world. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for your time today and for taking the time to explain that to us. No worries. Have a great day. You too. Thanks for watching. I hope you were able to gather some insight into True Phone Entitlements. If you'd like more information or to speak to one of our specialists, you can get in touch via the link below. And of course, subscribe for more videos. Bye for now.